really want to drink beer, and I came here to hack and not really talk. So um, continuing the IPFS stuff, uh, one of the things that we've been working on in the IPFS community is, um, is the application side of things. So like David was saying, the, the internet and especially the applications are pretty horrible at, at, as it is today. So what we want to do with IPFS is to make the internet better, but that means also making the applications work in a different way than they do now, basically not going to the servers. And so what we've been building is something called Orbit, which is a chat application on IPFS. And underneath that is um, OrbitDB, which is a serverless distributed database um, basically working without any, any central point of, of authorities. Um, and if you've seen me talk about Orbit previously, you might remember that we had some servers for the PubSub part of the network. But as of today, Orbit is completely serverless. There's absolutely no servers involved. So I gave a talk in um, DevCon about Orbit. And I'm just going to show the demo video. And I, I want to so, show some examples. I hope you can see something from there. But so basically, you log into Orbit. You get connected to the IPFS network. You join a channel, and you can start working. One of the really cool features is IPFS. You can actually drop, drag and drop files directly into the chat channel. So like folders and pictures, videos, audio, everything. And you can start immediately streaming all of that. And it integrates really nicely in, in the, the whole <coughs> chat experience, like, like it does in, in Slack and, and so on. Um, an interesting thing that we demoed at DevCon was an integration with Uport. So Orbit in itself doesn't have a concept of identity. But with Uport, we can actually have that in the blockchain. So I had my Uport identity locked in um, into Orbit, get the signing key, and sign the messages um, with that Uport signing key. So basically, I can verify who I am talking with. and that they're actually the, the people that are supposed to be there. So very, very quick demo. Um, and because I was kind of prepared for selling you on idea of hacking something, I made a quick example this morning that uh, I was hoping Pete would sell you on working on this. So basically, what you're looking at is, uh, is a JavaScript uh, application using IPFS. This one is using the Go IPFS um, thing, but um, soon the, the whole thing is completely in the browser. Right now, the PubSub is not in the browser yet, so that's basically what we're missing. But so you have like a simple JavaScript module that does channels. So you join a channel, um, then you can send messages on the channel, and that's basically like you would get. So you get a simple username. You can just log in again with a different username. And you can see the update on, on this site. So that's basically 20 lines of JavaScript that you need to write with that and include the IPFS. And it's all in IPFS. Um, OK, I can't show that demo. So um, underneath Orbit, um, there's OrbitDB, which is a, again, distributed peer-to-peer -peer database that you embed into the application. So it's not a server where the data is hosted, but it actually is, it puts the database into every client, much like other distributed peer-to-peer uh, -peer systems do. Um, and that's. What it gives you is databases that you're familiar with, like um, key value store, counters, event log, or, or feed kind of thing. So you can append only items to it, but never remove them. You can also have a data type that 
where you can remove the items, and so on. Um, I wanted to talk a little more, but if you're interested in the, the actual inner workings of how that data gets distributed in the network and how we build a database, um, on top of that, let's, let's talk afterwards. And I think I lost the links here as well, but basically github slash hud code slash orbit and orbit db. And they're part of the IPFS uh, community effort. So if you're interested in hacking or contributing, if that more the application side of things is interesting to you in the peer-to-peer -peer world, those would be good places to start um, to look into all of that. And so come join us on uh, developing all this. Um, go check it out. Check out the uh, JavaScript implementation for IPFS and check OrbitDB. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.